happen. In fact, it happened in a hurry. The Sooner schooner was rolling, and so was the Oklahoma offense. First play of the game for them, Cale Gundy finding Corey Warren for 33 yards, setting up a touchdown run by Dwayne Chandler. Second quarter, Gundy rears back and hits Warren again, 34 yards. This time, he finishes what he starts. Touchdown, strike up the band. Oklahoma is up 21 to 3. That guy can really dance, can't he? Texas Tech offense never got going. Mike Coates with the one handed interception there. That sets up Gundy's third touchdown pass of the first half. 28 to 3, Oklahoma, as they head into the halftime locker room. And then in the fourth and final stanza, this is true freshman Gerald Moore, who scampers in from 35 yards out. 35 to 10 would be the score at that point. 41 to 10, Oklahoma, uh, the final score. Never was really in question, was it? Uh, the Sooners, 41 to 10. Cale Gundy with three strikes. Oklahoma's 20 bowl wins rank them third behind Bama and uh, USC. Bam Morris with 95 yards and what? Trent Dilfer, huge day. Passing all over the Bucks. David Dunn catches it. David isn't done. He starts running. David is still not done because he's going to fumble. It would lead to a Colorado touchdown. Dilfer, 523 yards passing. The Bulldogs did get a break today. One second left in the half. Buffs up by 17, 23. Jamie Christian. Jamie Christian goes down laterals, and then it's fumbled. Malcolm Sebron picks it up. And Sebron isn't done either. 80 yards for the touchdown. It is 20 to 10 Buffaloes at the half. Remember, that play came with one second to go. Colorado breaks it open in half two. Rashawn Salam follows the little hole and then does the rest on his own. 40 yards. He rushed for 135 on 22 carries. And the Bulldogs bite themselves again. Dilfer, it's complete. It's fumbled. Donnell Leomitti picks it up. He runs 28 yards for the touchdown. Fresno State surrenders. 24 points off four turnovers, and the Buffs win it. There's the 71. Total points, 41-30. Dilfer picked off once, ending a string of 318 without being picked. The 71 points in Aloha Bowl record. The seniors, whose teams weren't invited to a bowl. That's Marcus Lee from Syracuse. The Blues up 7-zip. Malik Jackson. Malik, stick someone for us. That's, that's hitting on command. Gray comes back to tie it at 10 of the fourth. Watch this play. Bean O'Brien, is he down? He is, so's the ball, but George's Greg Tremble picks it up. He's not going down until he is knocked out at the blue four-yard line. Let's quickly check in with Bino, who's on TV. Bino, what happened? I was down. I was definitely down, he says. Great converts. Mark Mason, the Maryland Turf, finds a little hole and goes in. The game-winning touchdown. Gray wins 17 to 10. 18,500 show up to watch, several scouts included. Simmons, the game's MVP, stands six feet tall and said... The fourth quarter, 7-3, Michigan State. Third down, Jeff Brown to Reggie Ferguson. Gets it at the 10 and goes in for the score. And the Cardinals were on top for good at 10 to 7. On a fourth and goal now. Louisville looking for more, but they're denied. The Spartan defense turning them away at the goal line. Not to worry, Howard Schnellenberger. Next play, Louisville with the safety. Joe Johnson tackling Greg Thomas in the end zone. And it's 12-7 cards. Then the Cardinals finish off the scoring. Ralph Dawkins, who had 88 yards rushing with the touch high, stepping in 18 to 7. Louisville, the final. Brown pass for 197. A Coleman show. Coleman returns the punt down the side. And the score after the two-point conversion, 24-10 in favor of Kansas State. But there's more from Coleman in the third. Chad May rolling right, firing down the middle. He finds Coleman, and it's Coleman trying to find pay dirt. Runs, and at the end, needs some help. The dive hits the cone, a 61-yard play, 52-17 Kansas State. And the Kansas State fans find there's no place like the Copper Bowl. Hey, for take it on BYU. Allen Boardman punt blocked by Tim Patillo. Eight-yard touchdown. Ohio State up early, 7-zip. They keep it up. Raymond Harris takes the pitch, takes off into the end zone. The Buckeyes up 21-7. So BYU looks to John Walsh. Eight yards, Chad Lewis, the one-hander. It's tied at 21. 28-21 Buckeyes. Walsh with time running down. Eric Drage over the middle. Watch the key block by 83. Wipes out two Buckeyes. We're down to the five. BYU's got the ball back. Four tries to score. This was the key play. Touched it. Oh, he dropped it in the end zone. Whew. John Cooper's guarantee survives. 
Meantime, Southern Cal, Utah, playing in the Freedom Bowl. John Robinson didn't make any guarantees. Returning to Anaheim, where he coached the Rams. Rob Johnson, Johnny Morton, 31 yards. USC's up 7-zip. Next possession, Rob Johnson, Johnny Morton. It's 14-zip. It's 28-0 at the half. The Utes come back. Jamal Anderson, no tackle. Over Micah Phillips, 34 yards. It's 28-14, but... USC fans go home happy. Careful with those helmets. Final score was 28 to 21. Hair extinguisher in a hurry. He was up here a long time with that fire shooting out of his uh, wallet. Here, Jason Stanisek in the second quarter dumps it off to Leon Johnson, who rambles in from nine yards out. Henderson would, or uh, to the one, I should say, Henderson would later get the uh, touchdown. Then Brian Bergdorf of Alabama, what a game. Catches fire. 34-yard quarterback draw. It opened up like a big flower for him. And Gene Stallings is feeling good about his offensive line. Then Bergdorf, off the play action. Tarrant Lynch drilled it. Eight-yard touchdown. 17-10 to 10 Alabama. Then Bergdorf in the fourth. Timing pattern to Chad Key. And uh, apparently they wound the clock just right. 11 yards strike, great catch. Stallings, well, you know, you got to take that shower after you win a bowl game. 24 to 10, Alabama is the final count in that game. Bama's now 9-3 and 1 on the season. Bergdorf threw for two, ran for the one that we saw, and uh, garners MVP honors and a pretty neat trophy. Fire, now to the fourth, 7-3 Clemson. Third and goal, quarterback Pookie Jones sprints out of danger on the run, fires a dart to Mark Chapman. Clemson down 13-7, driving with a minute to go. But Patrick Sapp's pass picked off by Marty Moore. All Kentucky had to do was hold on, but didn't. Fumble, Clemson had it back. 20 seconds left, facing third and 10. Sapp flushed from the pocket, pulled up and zipped. The game winner to a wide open Terry Smith. Clemson, looking beaten, got a reprieve and made the most of it to squeeze past Kentucky and Bill Curry in another squeaker of a peach bowl. Every peach bowl in the last 10 years has been decided by five points or less. Mm. To Shreveport, Louisiana for Virginia Tech and Indiana in the Independence Bowl. Late second half, the Hokies defense swarms John Pacey. George Del Rico forces the bad throw. J.C. Price tries to sweep it up. But look at the Sunday bounce he got. Lawrence Lewis all the way by himself. Only 23 seconds before the half. And believe it or not, they would score again. We'll see that later in the show. Uh, Maurice Dolcezo here scrambling, lofted across his body, and perfectly so to Antonio Freeman, who just gets in. 35-13 Virginia Tech. Next series, Hoosiers deep in their own end. Pacey dropped again. Antonio Banks, who already has the interception and the touchdown return, adds the fumble recovery. Frank Beamer. Everybody gets a bath today, as long as you win. Virginia Tech, 45 to 20 over Indiana. Virginia Tech, which came into this one tied for 20th in the coaches' poll, runs away and hides. That bit of business before the half scene.